And we're back to more bed and theater. Hey, hello, everybody. And we just need to get one more uh, trait for the Underlord. Or the Overlord. So, to do that, we need a Diplomatic Hero. Okay. And a Disloyal Underling. Okay. And we gotta be the Overlord, obviously. Okay. You are the Overlord. You live in a castle surrounded by your demon servant. It's a pretty cushy life, you think. Except for the pesky humans who keep killing members of your army. God damn them. <laughs> Jerks. There's even a role called Hero, whose whole purpose in life is to dethrone you. Hero! What's their deal anyway? You've actually avoided pissing off the humans in hopes that they'll leave you and your army alone, but they never do. You're still new to this whole overlord thing. You're being honest with yourself. You don't really understand the politics of it. But you remind yourself everyone is just doing their best to fulfill their roles. You won't let them bait you into being the evil overlord they expect. You think yourself pretty cool and mature for holding yourself to higher standards like that. One of your underlings walks into the room, totally interrupting your thoughts about how awesome you are. You're saying something about how boring it is to stand in one place guarding the castle all the time, especially since no one ever comes here anyway. You see their point, but the way they're whining about it makes you kind of bothered. What to do with this underling? So, we grant them the day off. You tell the underling to take a break from the stifling castle atmosphere and refresh their dark soul. A day off should be fine every once in a while. Yay! They thank you and happily scurry off to who knows what. You have nothing better to do today, so you decide to nap for a while. Being the overlord sure is great. You wait to the knock on the door. The underling from earlier brought back some company. It's a maiden from the nearby human village. He said, she says her role is to be captured by you. The man then goes on to say that she's been getting very impatient, thinking about her impending capture. So she's just come here to speed things along. You know, it just maybe we can go a little faster on this. <laughs> you know, I'm nearly my 20s. <laughs> Can't be a man or forever. <laughs> you appreciate her honesty, but regret to inform her that you never had any plans to capture her anyway. I had no intention of ever capturing you. Why? She seems very disappointed by us. Perhaps I'm not performing my role well enough. How can I become more maiden-like? You don't really understand the question. You think this world puts too much focus on destiny and junk. Just go at home and stop worrying about it, you tell her. I Mina mean, seems to be having a hard time wrapping her head around this. She used to such she stay and talk to you more. You feel warm inside as she looks you in the eyes. This is the first time a human has looked at you without contempt. You wonder what to say. And we let the maiden stay. You can't bring yourself to send the maiden away. She's just got here. You enjoy a nice long chat with her, sharing stories about your kind. She expresses her surprise that demons are not at all what she expected them to be. You are glad that she seems to have an open mind about these kind of things. You also bring up how you always instruct your armies to avoid humans, that is to agitate them and get them here or sent after them. That explains why people of the, my village have been left unharmed. It's because of your orders, isn't it? We are very grateful. You're surprised to hear her thank you. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you always thought of humans as violent and unreasonable. That's why your servants are always getting killed, despite your efforts to leave them alone. But this maiden is different. You joke that maybe you've been lying this to her this whole time, and that you were actually super evil all along. I could just be buttering you up so I can eat you later. <laughs> well, that's 
that's the case, just make sure to be gentle. <laughs> <laughs> and the innuendo just write themselves, everyone. Yep. The maiden laughs at that, <laughs> saying you wouldn't, she wouldn't mind being held captive here. The people of our village are a little exhausting at times, she says. You can't tell if she's into you or not. You're interrupted by the cockblock hero. <laughs> at the doorway. <laughs> what the hell? He's apparently searching for the maiden who has been rumored to have been captured by your kind. Captured? Not at all. All I, all I wanted to meet was the overlord. Didn't anyone read the note I left behind? You yeah. can't write! Nor read! You're in that era! <laughs> After everything is explained, the hero expresses his relief that the whole misunderstanding hadn't led to a horrible consequences. The maid apologizes for causing trouble, and the hero asks her to return to the village with him. Confusing feel feelings well up inside your heart. You're surprised that you had one of those to begin with. You don't want the hero to take this man away from you. And we let them go. Your sir shall return to spend more time with you. You just have to trust in that, you decide. With the hero and maiden gone, you plop down on the comfort of your luxurious overlord bed. Your room feels empty now. Is this loneliness? Your hope your new friend will be back soon. You close your eyes for a while. Uh, you almost fall asleep when the maiden hero burst into the room, frantically trying to communicate something to you. You're told that a group of demons is plotting to assassinate you. You're not surprised. How nice of the humans to care, though. One of your unknowing barges in next, sharing that the humans are liars. They're followed by another group of demons, crying that everything was... was that the first underlings plan. Everyone is shouting over each other. <laughs> And it's very annoying for you yell uh, for all of them to shut their traps. All of you shut up! <laughs> you have no doubt that your servants would let their ambitions cloud their judgment and lead them to try to take your throne. Regardless of who led the conspiracy, I have no choice but to punish everyone to keep you all in your place, crushed beneath my heels. Say that made you feel very overlord-like. You're not sure if you have the strength to back it up, though. Lately, all you do is sleep. <laughs> you grew up a dream and starts muttering something and then going back to plan A and suddenly slam your door shut. You, the maiden, the hero, and the one of your underlings are trapped inside. In an instant, the whole room is in flames. The other one pans on the door, cursing at their friends for betraying them. The hero pants on the door as well, bound to slay the cowardly demons on the other side. So this is how you'll all die, burned alive in your own room by those who thought you could, tr you could trust. You would have expected this from a bunch of idiot demons, though. You notice know, the maiden crying. Why does she have to die over something that has nothing to do with her? Perhaps she was cursed from the moment she spoke to you. You wonder if you're cursed as well. You're so filled with anger and frustration, you don't even notice that you've grabbed the underlings those traitors blame everything on. They cry for mercy, saying that they were dragged into the plot not knowing they'd be killed if they, were, if they took your side. They cry that they didn't want to have to kill you. You almost feel sorry for them. And we forgive them. Merciful. You release the underling. Killing them wouldn't make you feel any better. Besides, they've already gotten their punishment. You'll all burn together. The Overlord's True End. Before you've taken back to reset the story once again, you pause for a moment. True end, you say to yourself. What was the point of all my efforts if the true ending is just terrible? You must have forgotten where you were. 
This is bad in theater. Is the pain setting in? Oh, but you should have been well aware of what you've been shown when you've entered this place. It's a problem I've been quite often. At some point, Igor attached to my little cast. He started to relate to their flaws, their plights. You started wishing for their happiness. But you aren't going to find that here in my theater. My loving, crafting labyrinth of suffering. Anyway, I hope you'll pardon the interruption. You're making great progress. Your choice to continue on to the next ending is always yours. I'll leave you to it, dear guest. Wow. Thanks. Jerk. And Puppet Master is our new title. Sweet. So now the next thing is to try to get all the endings. Yeah. So many. Yeah, there's 41 and we have 15. And... I know we can... Uh, maybe not. Um, I'm trying to see if it does tell me, but I don't think so. Okay, it doesn't... Oh, crap. Okay. It does and it doesn't. It does have a road map, but okay. it is a little convoluted. <laughs> it says, apparently... Useless failed. Okay, actually this does help me. So, we are going to be using a guide from this point onwards, just yeah. to speed things along. So, we don't need to do the failed hero. We got... Okay, so we don't have that one. So, we're going to go through the hero's one. Really, they don't have tragic? Okay. Okay, so this one is you don't even need to check anything off. Okay. So we're a hero, we go off to fight the overlord. <laughs> blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. So, bravely slaughter these creatures. Cut through the demon army. Yeah! And one demon. The hell? Yeah. Oh yeah, no, we didn't do this because the maiden didn't show up in this run. They look both. They, they, they look creepy. Yes, like oh. <laughs> I've converted to evil. <laughs> Kill them. <laughs> but for some reason, you can't sense anything sinister happening. You all look at each other in surprise and confusion. This is no time to hesitate. Ask the man and what's going on. She explains like she came here on her own and that she was never in any danger. She hesitantly asks why you're covered in blood. <laughs> I've been killing. You don't know how to respond. The overlord moves past you and at the door. To see her army in lifeless, bloody piles. <laughs> Mommy! <laughs> uh, she's wailing. It's horrible. This is your chance, hero. I'm sure this is all just a big misunderstanding. She hopes she'll let you this whole thing slide if you could just explain yourself. You really tried, but the Overlord is inconsolable. She tears you apart, and the Maiden watches in silence. As you die, you can't help but think you probably deserve this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! 
Oh my gosh! Okay. Oh, we didn't get much for anyone else. So we have Triumphant. And Bystander. Okay. So for this one, take that off. We need Martyr on the Maiden. So a lot of this is repeats, so I'm just going to skip Freo, guys. <laughs> Hero, yada yada. So bravely sla slaughter some evil creatures. Let's kill them! You make quick work of them. You feel stronger now. Well, these are the tails. Cut, cut through this one, because we know the ending if we don't. Now we ask the maiden what's going on. Yeah. Don't ask. And... <clears throat> yes. Yeah, like... Yeah. But your blade pierces the maiden instead. And she sacrifices herself to protect this demon. It takes you a moment to recover from the shock. The overlord wails. Why did you do that? You're not sure if the question is directed at you? The overlord strikes at you in a vengeful rage. You parry and she is slain. Your sword feels heavy. You look at your hands. You're close. Blood. Blood. So much blood. You look at the fallen maiden, wonder what to tell the Tans people. Why would she have protected the Overlord? She must have been brainwashed by the demonic magic. You pick up the Overlord's head, wrapping it in your cape. And you begin the long journey back out to town. Ain't that long. You will say that you were too late, that nothing could have been done for the girl. But the Overlord is slain. Jeez. There will be a celebration. <laughs> Loyal hero. Try to get one more in here. Yeah. Okay. Take that off, please. Don't be a martyr. So we need a disloyal underling. Okay. For this one. Yeah, sorry guys, the game does like to bug out after a few minutes of play. Yeah. Okay. So this one, we flee like a coward. Run away! <laughs> I'm sick of coward. I can't be a coward. They won't laugh at me. <laughs> now, I also have to let you in. Come on in, meat sack. Then we ask the man what's going on. You pause when you see a group of suspicious demons standing near the entrance. 
They're talking about assassinating their overlord. This proves to you that demons really are foul creatures. We have to tell her about this! You don't understand what the maiden is speaking. The world is better off with less demons. They're all cold, ruthless creatures that would, that should be destroyed. And those same creatures have just noticed you eavesdropping. The man takes off into the castle. He had no choice but to follow. He bursts into the overlord's room. The man frantically tries to communicate what you just heard. They're going to kill you! They're coming to get you! Oh my god! Oh my god! Will you calm the f- <laughs> <laughs> Demons are coming to murder A you. demon underling barges in next, calling you liars. You lie! It's followed by the group from the entrance, who shifts the blame back to the little one. He did it. These demons only care about themselves. How low can they be? He begins shouting at them, and the whole room dissolves into noise until the overlord yells for everyone to shut their traps. All of you shut up! Why must I have to deal with such insolence? She frames them with violence. This overlord is no better than her subjects. You grip your sword tightly. If you had to have to cut through everyone here just to get this maiden to safety, you certainly will. The group of demons hiss to each other before shutting the door, leaving the runt in the lit of the litter behind. You can listen around for her. Another exit, but there isn't one. You have a terrible feeling about this. In an instant, the whole room is in flames. Oh, wow! Wasn't your house made out of flamium? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> what kind of demonic magic is this? Down like pounds on the door, upset that it's been betrayed. Oh, funny how that works. You join in, vowing to slay the cowardly demons on the other side. The next moment, the overlord has taken hold of the underling. It's crying for mercy. She thrusts her claw into the underling's chest, and it lets out a horrible scream. Ooh. You back away. You won't be the next target of her rage. She continues to dig and twist your claw into its limp body. You can no longer watch. You look to the maiden. She's crying, hands clasped together in prayer. You have faith. To have faith in a time like this, you envy her. Oh, dear God, please let me get out of the demon flames. The two of you, the overlord and the underling's corpse, are consumed by flames. Resigned hero. Okay. And that'll be the episode, so thank you all very much for watching. Peace out.